Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Jayla, also known as Jay Shinoli on internet, so that is where you can find and follow me. Today I'm coming to show you how to achieve box braids on your natural hair without extensions. If you want to see how to achieve these box braids, go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell button so you can be notified each time I post a new video. Also make sure you're following me on my hair page, at Jayla's Hair. They get all the hair details before y'all do. Let's get right into it. A lot of people do this style just to rock it as an actual style but I'm gonna actually do this style to prep my hair for distressed locks I will be trying full locks for the very first time we'll see that video after this one so make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can see it let's go ahead and get into how you can achieve box braids on your natural hair without any braiding hair so the first step of styling your natural hair and doing box braids is making sure that your hair is stretched in some type of way I decided to literally just stretch my hair using plaques the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead ahead and section my hair off. I'm going to make a very clean middle part because I definitely will have that. I'm going to part down to my ears and then I'm going to make sure I have a couple of parts in the back as well. Just for So this is the last section that I have to complete and I'm taking my rat tail comb. I'm gonna part out this section and I'm taking a little bit of the shining jam and I'm gonna put that into my parts and then I'm gonna reinforce the parts and now I just have this little section to work with. At the very top of my roots, I'm gonna apply some shining jam just to smooth out the roots. And to the rest of my hair, I'm gonna lightly spritz that with water. That is thunder. Hopefully I can get this done before the rain actually starts. So I just lightly spritz my hair with water. I already moisturized it yesterday. But now I'm gonna go into this Mayel Twisting Souffle. So I'm taking about that much, starting at the ends and working my way up. And I'm also gonna do like a mini finger detangle while I'm applying this product. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and flat down. So my apologies for the quality of lighting, but as you probably heard, it was thundering and lightning and it was very much overcast. So that's not really good when you use natural lighting, but I tried to do my best. Um, you really do need to know how to do these mini braids in order to do the distress locks. So hopefully you're still able to see everything uh, regardless of the very poor lighting situation. I'm getting kind of close to the ends and yet this third section is almost running out so I'm going to continue with the twist instead of braiding and I'm not going to twist all the way down I'm going to stop and give myself like a centimeter and a half that's what my ends are looking like I'm going to wet it just a little bit more and twirl it around my finger like so last thing I want to do is actually trim my ends I have not trimmed in a while and it is definitely the time so that's how much I just cut off and now we're left with this again gonna twirl that around my finger and I'm feeling to make sure I don't feel like a lot of single strand knots or fairy knots if I did I would go in and chop some more off but I don't that is what my hair is looking like and now this braid is complete and we have about three more braids that we can get out of this section. And I'm going to add some shine and jam to help me reinforce that part. Now I have this section of hair. At the roots, I'm going to apply some shine and jam. And to the rest of the hair, I'm going to lightly spritz with water before going into my styling product, which is that twisting souffle. If you are like me and you are doing this style to prep yourself for the stress locks, I highly suggest you do it on a different day than you plan to do your locks because this took a very, very, very long time. Although it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty tedious and just getting your parts straight will take you forever. So it took me at least six hours to do this hairstyle, I want to say y'all. Um, and again, I'm a very slow worker, but this is not something that you can just do real, real quick and be done with it. So 
highly suggest you doing it on a separate day than your actual faux locks, which is what I did. I actually wore this style for a couple of days because I really, really enjoyed it. I love mini braids, so if you want to see them more on my channel, please let me know in the comment section below because I will absolutely bring them to you. I'm braiding until I get about one and a half to two centimeters from the ends here. At this point, I'm going to try to twirl this around my finger. I'm also going to wet it just a little bit more to get that nice twirl action going. Chop about right there. I'm going to twirl this one more time. Make sure I don't feel any single strand knots or anything like that. And now this braid is done. So here is my hair. I went ahead and put it in like a mid pony. I thought it was really cute and I had a lot of movement and bounce. That is how you can achieve box braids on your natural hair without extensions. I'm very pleased with the results. So this is just a very simple protective style that you can wear on your natural hair. You do not have to add extensions. My mom used to wear her hair like this as a kid. My auntie used to wear her hair like this as an adult. I just really love this style. And of course, if you wanted to go ahead and switch it up, you don't have to just wear it down you have a couple of styles that you can rock so yes this is what my hair looks like in all of its glory i know you're gonna ask so i have a total of 56 braids in my hair which means that when i eventually install my locks that's how many locks i will have in my hair as well i showed you exactly how i part and a couple of styles that you can achieve if you enjoyed this video remember to hit that subscribe button also like this video so that YouTube can share with other people. Remember to follow me on all of my socials, including Jay Chanelli and at Vela's Hair on Instagram. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Somebody don't came and put their lunchbox in my shop. Oh.